So welcome back to the uh, series of videos on the modding of Farming Simulator 17. Today's video um, probably has a slightly different title because this of course applies to whether you're making a new map, editing a fa existing Farming Sim 17 map or as this series of videos has been uh, moving a map from Farm Sim 15 to Farm Sim 17. Right, um, so today we are looking at um, adding a silo to the Farm Sim 17 map because the, the reason we're not using the, uh, the silo that came across from Farm Sim 15 or any other silo trigger is um, the fact that it, it just work, it operates completely differently, okay? So you need to have deleted any triggers in your farm sim map which are from any version other than farm sim 17. Now then, I'm looking at, as you can see, the uh, the Gold Crest map. And just so you know how I, where I found this, uh, the player farm is in uh, Gold Crest Valley locations and then it's player farm and you can find all kinds under there like that so that's it so you look at farm silo system everything highlights almost <laughs> all right now there are two parts as you know to a, a farm silo system all right uh now what uh what i'm gonna do is first to export both of those from this map to another now the first one is over here and it's actually called the unloading station farm and here it is now all i want is the um this i want the triggers all right now um i say triggers because yes there are two if i look here you've got um the this is the sort of normal trigger thing and then there's another one and it's called farm silo shovel target which you'll see better in in a moment but um for now that's all you need to know unloading station farm i'm going to click on that and you just do the usual the same thing um as we always do file export selection with files and you're going to need a place to put it uh, there's my mod map. I'm putting mine in objects and I'm putting it in triggers and silo. Okay, silo in. That, I've actually done this before, as you can see, because I recorded it a second time. But um, anyway, it, it, just do that, save, and you'll be exporting to your Farm Sim 17 mod folder. And if I move across here, Click on that. You can see this. This is the the trigger. These little things at the bottom down here, and I go down here, and we put. Um, I'm going to export. Yeah, I'll export the whole thing. What I could, what you could do, you see, you could just take um, this and export just the trigger, but um, I think it's uh, it's easier and safer or whatever maybe you actually want the silo thing anyway i'm just going to export it all because maybe i want it maybe i won't so again anyway file export selection with files and i call this one silo out um, again you can call it what you like you can see what happens when you export with uh, with files you've got the textures the shared and the shaders as well anything everything you need good so having done that go across to here to your um your farm sim 15 or or your new map or whatever it is you're working on and um find a bit of empty space is the best way of doing this because you've got what you're going to be doing is importing um actually you know in mine i'm going to just do this um yeah yeah okay so in 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 my map anyway i've I've, uh, I'll just remove what I did before. That was all that was. So, I, okay, I've got a transform group here called triggers. And remember that is create transform group. And I've clicked on it. And then over here, change the name to triggers. Created a new one, silo. Uh, when you create transform group, it creates and it, it just sort of puts it at that level. 
So this one, look, it's like a subfolder from Triggers. So all you do is click it, edit, cut, control X works, and then click on there, edit, paste. And you can see you've got now that that thing is there, but I'm going to delete that because, because uh, well, I don't need it. So I'm going to put everything into silo anyway. So next thing to do then is file, import, go to, I've got objects, I'll put triggers and silo. Make it easy to find. I've got first to put silo in. And then I'm going to file, I'm going to import, and silo out. So there. Yeah. So these are now brought across from the other um, the original map. So I'm going to edit, cut that again, or Control X if you prefer, and put it. Click on silo, and I'm going to edit paste. There it is. Now I'm going to move this one in there. Just keep it nice and tidy, easy to find stuff. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to edit paste. So there they are, they're both under silo. I'll be able to find them nice and easily. Now the first is the unloading station farm. You got now I'm gonna either you can click edit and interactive placement or just control B by default and then just click on a bit of empty ground and this is where I want my to work with this thing. <laughs> okay. So let's move it over there a bit. There we go. And the next one is farm silo system. Control X. Ah, no, 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 no. It's not obviously Control B, wouldn't it? The okay, Control B and click. There we are. Right, so I've got them both over here to work with. I'll begin with this one. Uh, now, though I've got everything in my case right now, I don't need the. All I need is the trigger anyway. That's the point. So I'm going to lift that up. All right. And you can see if I open this up got a uh, transform group called gameplay it's actually the IN transform group and that contains both all the, the info all the things I need I don't want everything so I'm just gonna select um, gameplay IN it depends upon how yours is, is so I'm gonna select IN and raise it up then I'm gonna select the whole thing again and I'm gonna lower it and then I'm going to select that one, and that one, and I'm going to move it up. And I'm going to select all of it. And what I'm doing now, I'm hiding it. Because, like I said, all I want is this, the trigger. So I've got it there if I want it at a later date, but I don't want it, I think. So we'll see. So if I move this across now, because it's going to go here. And... Sort of like that, and I can zoom in and get it right. So, oh, there are two parts to this, and I couldn't really show you very well before. If I lift that up, you get a thing farm, silo, shovel, target. What you can use that for, if you want to dump the thing on the floor with your tractor to sell, then you can use this thing. If you want to dump it from your front loader, that is. Or if you want to dump it well if you, if you want to dump it anyway that's the thing and it will sell okay so that's that one I'm gonna edit and undo because I want to put it I want to keep them nice and together okay good right so then now I shall control control B and I just click um, there that gets it should be on the right at the right height now or no I think it's a bit uh, a bit low so I'm gonna like that, that I'm gonna put that one up. I'll just do this. This because this needs to be at floor level. This one, so you're sort of doing it like that. Um, that should be okay. And then this thing. Ah no 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 no. Do it like, uh, like there, like that. And then oh I've done that all wrong, haven't I? <laughs> And then I can put, so I've got that one like that. I know what I need to do. Sorry about this. Um, so this thing, and I, it, the big, the sort of rectangular box, that's the, um, your your trailer has to be inside that. So I'm gonna put it, I'm actually putting it a bit, a bit under the ground because 
Um, the triggers on the trailers, they're not always accurate. So I don't mind having it a bit sticking out the ends a bit as well. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, like that. So that's fine. And now I have to make the farm silo thing. But if I dump it on the floor, you know, so there we go. And like that. Okay, well, that's not very good, is it? And I want it off to I don't want it off to the side like that either. If it's off to the side, you every time you drive past it, you're gonna dump your um if you if you've got something in your your um front loader, it'll be taken out of your front loader and sort and dumped in there. So I'm gonna keep it like that. It's a little bit I suppose it's a bit fiddly, but it's not a big deal. Um so we've got clicking on everything now. I've got this box here. Oh, you know what? Oh well, all part of the game. <laughs> so move move this one over there a bit, because look, that box goes out the side. Remember what I said? You drive past with a um, with something. Even you just get the information coming up saying you can dump stuff here. Whoops. You can dump your things here. So now we're getting triggers in. That was that one. So yeah, they're, they're sort of inside, and it's it's not too big, I think. So go back to the shovel target. I'll slide that across like that. There you go. I mean, it's not. It doesn't have to be perfectly um, straight or or exactly the right size, but as long as it's near enough. Um, now I'm gonna. Oh, I know that the grate is missing. That's because I, I suppose, I accidentally deleted it or something. I you I can't separate the grate from the imported thing. So um, grill. So I'm going to have to do that. Figure out a way of doing that another time. Now I'm going to with this one again. I'm going to move it up. I don't need to move that up. I only need to move the trigger up, don't I? It's this thing. So just select that, move that up, and select this thing, and I'm gonna move that down, and then I'm gonna move the trigger up, and then, and then zoom out a bit more. I'm moving it down, and slowly it's uh, it's uh, separating out, and that one. And that one, there we go, it's gone way down there now. So I'm going to select the silo trigger, that one. Mine, mine goes inside the building, and if I rotate around here, it'd be easier for me to place it. So interactive placement, Control B, or edit and click, and then I just click on here. And I've moved it over, and when I move it, it sort of goes under the ground a bit, so I need to, there. There it is. Now for me, um, I've got to put it, it's this little thing here. <laughs> so I'm gonna sort of put it more or less in the right place, well, exactly in the right place in fact. Like that, and this way a bit. Has that got it? Can be a bit tricky when you've got it inside a building. Yeah, that's it. So, good. That's done for the map. So I'm going to file and save. One thing. Now we need to look at a file. Uh, this is the, I don't need that one. Okay. Look at this file, map01.xml. So there's the, the root of the mod folder and it's maps and that should be on map01.xml. Right click, edit with notepad plus plus or notepad if you want to. Um, and um, this at the top this is your the <clears throat> the XML definition of how your trigger works, and you can see the kind of thing that's got to go in here. The the what what this is what you can put in. So I suppose I've never tried it actually, but if you wanted to add manure to the list, you could just add another line here, and whatever the fill type name for manure is, you put it in there. You might be able to find it somewhere and uh, and so on so I'm, I'm just sticking with the default um 
there are some things you can say because the tr trigger is the same as for the stale sale triggers so supports great demand well false because you just a deposit thing disable price drop price scale to zero because you don't get paid for drop dumping it in there um, it doesn't need to appear on the PDA um, and so on if you uh, you wouldn't I don't think you'd ever have it on the PDA but if you really wanted to you could if you do I would give it a different name this station name is you know on the, the the farm map you might see something like Mary's farm or this is uh, or what, what what would you say Bobby's wool buying shop and stuff like that that's this station underscore farm silo now the reason this one's got a funny name is it is there's a it relates to something in the main game um anyway okay moving on if i want to call it something else so i call this if i'm going to call this if, if it was a shop and i, well, I could call it thor's silo there we are so I, that's the sort of thing you can you put what you like in there but that's as as it will show on the map in fact just that just for the fun of it we'll put true there we go now it's good it will show up on the map right so that's done and that's the map 01.xml it used to be everything was defined in giants editor but not anymore so uh so we have this and make sure you edit the one the right one and here here as you can see this is the same one for um the gold crest valley map okay let's save that and uh, we'll go into uh farming simulator 17 so in a minute well, here we are in the map, and you can see right in front of me, you should recognise it, the building where I'll be storing my grain. So the first thing to do is to get some grain into my, my truck, my tipper. So, and let's put the lights on. Like that do. So, it's at the end. My trigger. Oh, F1, just so you can... So that it shows up correctly. Keep an eye on the top left, and there it is. Okay, start filling. Start filling. Doesn't matter what I put in. Put wheat in, and you can see it going down in the bottom right. And I don't know. I waited until it was done, but uh, open experience. You can't get around there, so. And now I know with this one, it, it when I tip it up, it'll <laughs> it hits the top and everything will fly everywhere. Okay, what you can see is um, that it says unload at the top. I'm going to actually change it. I'm gonna try, I don't know. I'm gonna put it. Um, tip side, tip side left, tip side right, that'll do, hopefully, right, unload. Uh, yeah, that worked, okay. Nice, that seems to have worked. I'll just drive out of there. I don't know why, but I will. Oops, it's a bit not very good, is it, that one? Okay, I need a bit of fixing, but if I look back in my map thing here, it's uh, back up to 12,008. It's a funny sort of thing. I see my, I've still got Julia Malum there. That shouldn't be there as a sell point, so I'll have to look at Julia Malum and see why it's doing that. Anyway, there we go. Now you know how to add um, a silo to your map. And in the next video, I will cover how to add sale points, point of sales. So you'll be able to actually sell the wheat that you grow. Goodbye for now.